Hey y'all, welcome to a uh, side channel review. I guess it's kind of a side channel. This is the Whiskey Warehouse. Uh, I'm Dylan. Y'all haven't seen me in a little bit. I've been out here in Virginia doing uh, some stuff with the Navy. Good times, bad times, whatever. Uh, today, hell, we're going to be doing some uh, Evan Williams 1783. Um, cheap, reliable. Good. You, as you can see, I've already drank some. Uh, I want to say that this is an eight-year uh, small batch. Yeah, it doesn't really say on the... Uh, uh, yeah, there's no age statement on here. Uh, you can find this anywhere. Easy to find. Uh, yeah. Evan Williams is the, is the producer. Uh, Simple mash bill, whatever. It's not a, I don't know. It's not anything that's gonna blow you away. But uh, I'll go ahead and give you guys the review on it, and then we'll, you know, talk about it here. So I don't have a Glen Karen out here. I'm currently at my buddy's house. Uh, I'm looking for a Glen Karen so that I can kind of do these little side channel reviews for y'all. <clears throat> Yeah, it's oak and vanilla. Um, maybe like a just a hint of cherry. Brown sugars, like some spices. Yeah, not overly complex. Uh, I saw one review where they said that this was thin, so uh, you know we'll call it thin because it does. It it just kind of goes in your nose and then it's right out. Uh, I can check the legs on this, which is nice. I know the boys have been giving me some shit about some legs. And there's some nice thick ones. I know you guys can't really see these. Well, there's... Yeah. No, you can't really see it. So, yeah. Uh, straightforward bourbon. Super cheap. I mean, this, this whole thing was like 20 bucks. You can't really beat that. Cheers. Peanuts. Goes down super smooth too. Uh, yeah, 86 proof. Uh, don't expect too much from this, guys. Uh, if you're wondering about like which one's better, uh, black label, white label, the Bond, uh, or the vintage or this, uh, the vintage is by far the best. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I'm putting the Bond up there at the top, followed by the vintage. And then followed by this here, and then black label. This is just a little bit more complex. Um, the aftertaste is uh, honey and and still peanuts. Yeah, uh, still pretty good. I mean, I would I'll pick it up if, when I can. Um, if I'm not, if I don't have something that I've already picked up that's a little bit more expensive, I might turn to this if I'm. Um, Looking for something tasty, but on a good budget. Um, which is funny, I saw in another video they said that this was actually cheaper than the uh, white label. However, the white label in Cincinnati goes for $14. In Cincinnati, this goes for like $20. So there's, a, there's quite a bit of a price difference, but I did see that some people were saying that it's more expensive than the, Evan, than the white label. And then some people were like, yeah, the white label is... A little bit more expensive than this is so I think it just fluctuates state to state um, I'll go ahead and get into the second tasting yeah it's very thin I mean even like it drinks thin it just goes down like water I've had some that are oily um, this is very thin it's a good mixer if you're looking for something to mix this is definitely the one that I would recommend um, yeah, no burn. You don't, you get like a little tiny little bit of a hug, uh, but not anything that's gonna, you know, kill you or anything like that. Like, uh, when we did that, uh, Elijah Craig, 
that Elijah Craig uh, barrel proof that stuff is that is some hot stuff I'm sure if you watch the after show you saw that um, sometimes I like to smell the glass a little bit but I'm trying to get into uh, the aftertaste and there's really maybe like some light honey uh, and citrus but there's no like red pepper in this it's not hot it's not gonna kill you um, and, and it's not gonna kill you uh, your wallet either so this has been a side channel quick review of Evan Williams 1783 I'm gonna talk with Nick and see if we can't get a uh, full Evan Williams lineup done uh, they have some green label out here that I can bring home uh, and we could do like a bracket or something like that uh, if you want to see that go ahead and let me know down here in the comments I don't have all the fancy stuff that Nick has for uh, editing I just have my phone and uh, he's got camera computer all that good stuff and a microphone so comment down here below let us know if you want to see a bracket of Evan Williams I know I should do we'll probably end up doing it anyway that's my buddy's dogs that's a uh, whiskey and uh, Bella they're out there playing so until next time I'll uh...